to another video. How are you guys? I know it's been a minute. Please don't be mad. It's been actually a long minute. But, really? My son's dancing. <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to come on here and just give you guys kind of like a life update. I decorated for Easter. I love decorating tear trays. Love it, love it, love it. I even got this little cute little like egg tr uh, tree from the Dollar Spot. Look at what I, my love got me for Valentine's Day. A little cute puppy, a card, and some roses. So cute, so cute. But this is what I did for Valentine's Day. It's not. I do a tree. I haven't done my Easter tree yet because I'm still deciding if I want to do one. But this is my other little tray. And then this one. Bunny kisses and Easter wishes. But look how cute this tear tray is. It has a little bunny. But um, real fast, I just got my groceries delivered for the week, kinda, for my boys. Um, so I got some bread, white bread. They, rec they wanted white bread. And some pineapple, dried pineapple for me. And then some hot dog buns to go with the hot dogs. Some yogurt for them. I already have granola. And they love this Gardein 7 Grain Crispy Tenders. I did a collab with them over on Instagram. And oh my gosh. My kids have been loving it ever since. But um, it's vegetarian. So, And I believe they're also... Uh, what is it? I think it's vegan as well. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. But um, yeah, always vegan, dairy-free, kosher. So, and it's a plant-based protein. My kids love it. I got some Italian um, dressing. I mean, ah, Italian herb uh, seasoning. Italian seasoning for spaghetti tonight. I'm making meatballs. I got them some more milk and some yogurt, grapes. And I got my husband some pineapple. He wanted some pineapple. So I got him some sliced pineapple. And then I also got him... Okay. Really? I guess I got, just got him sliced. I asked for chopped, but they're sliced. And I got some um, french fries, the steak cut. My son wanted some burgers and french fries this week. And I got some Aunt Jamama syrup. And y'all, I cannot wait for Easter to get here so I can get my jelly beans the all red kind they're really good if you have not tried them try them they're amazing but I wanted to come on here and give you guys kind of like a little life update where I've been what I've been doing and to be honest you're not high enough hold on one second right here is fine this is where we're gonna film at so little life update I have been kind of, okay, so I have been kind of like in, not the dumps or the blues or I guess you could say the quarantine blues and I've been just tired of like the same old thing every day, every day and I spoke with my husband and my brother really influenced me a lot and my sister also influenced me to do this again. And I'm really excited about it. It's been about three weeks that I've been doing it. And y'all, when I say I've had a blast being back, I've had a blast. And the big news is, is that I started traveling again. And as you can see in the haul, I kept on saying like for my kids, that they have burgers, they have hot dogs. These are things that they could cook and I trust them not to use a stove. So I got an air fryer. I have like a airless um, indoor like grill they can use that I could trust that, hey, just plug it in and use it, unplug it type of thing. They don't have to mess with the gas. So I am back traveling. That's the huge news right how exciting so very very interesting like <laughs> hold on I got stuck very interesting content coming up showing you 
all like the different areas I travel to which is fun um and I might even do a financial video so you guys can see like the financial side of traveling as well and um yeah so that's what I've been up to that's why there's been no vlogs that's why there's been no videos for you guys and I do want to apologize I just felt like you know I have one more video that I am going to post when I was doing PRN. I am still doing PRN, um, but it's just very slow. And I just was tired of just sitting at home. Um, this whole, you know, quarantine thing and COVID has really messed with me mentally and not wanting to be around people and not wanting to, you know, just kind of stay in my shell. And I just felt like I was getting into a place of where I didn't want to be. And just to be honest with you guys and Frank, like I, I was good. I, I'm now, I pre, I always tell you guys, trust God, trust, step out on faith, trust God, step out on faith. And I had to start really looking in the mirror and looking at myself. Am I truly trusting God? Am I truly stepping out on faith when it comes to things in this world? And I can honestly say I was not. And now I'm doing Bible study and, you know, really diving in for the to the Bible myself and doing worship with God. And, you know, my sister, we did a fast together and it was the Daniel fast. Um, slightly altered, I believe it was, but nevertheless, it was kind of like the Daniel fast, 21 days, and it just really grounded me to where I was like, okay, Lord, I'm going to trust you, you know, and not just trust you just so I could have control, but no, I'm going to let you be fully in control. And, um, if you guys are not, I'm doing a, a Bible study with her right now as well you guys saw my sister in the other video i just posted we went to costco and sam's club we had blast spent so much money but um she's she's awesome she's a woman of god and you know she keeps me grounded in my faith and she keeps me alert on things that i'm like hey you know so with all that we're doing the book of james right now and y'all if y'all haven't read the book of james you need to read it it's amazing and ask God for his guidance when you're reading it and pray through the word but whoo it's enlightened me a lot so we're doing that right now and so I'm just having a blast my kids are actually able to and old enough to see okay mom's not gonna be home for one or two days it's just gonna be dad here you know and dad is still here present working and you know he w goes to work Monday well actually Tuesday through Saturday and so um but I'm home probably I try to be home every night but sometimes I have to stay in a hotel sometimes I have to stay overnight which is fine but my kids are now actually old enough to see mom not here mom's gone Mom's out making money. <laughs> my youngest, my oldest son, you said, Mom, where are you going? Making money? Yes, making money. So, that's what I've been doing. I hope you guys have been well. How was your Valentine's Day? You know, don't get caught up into the day of it. Just do some self-love and love on yourself. Believe me, I went out and um, I actually took my husband on the on a date this year it was not all about me I actually incorporated him into this day and he's not a big like gift receiver he's not about all that so we went to a gun range I'll insert some clips here but we went to a gun range put it on fire Front real good. All right. Yes, it's a small kick, not a big kick. <laughs> bring it up. So bring always bring the gun up to your eye level. Don't take the eye level down to the gun. So stand that front side. You have to look straight through here. Dad, yeah, close your left eye. My left eye. I can't close my left eye. Focus with your right eye. 
And then find the tip of that front sight, put it right in the middle of your target, and then just pull the trigger nice and gently to the rear. Oh my god, this is harder than it looks. I don't know, once you shoot it, it's a lot easier. Okay, I didn't shoot nothing. <laughs> You'll be able to tell the difference because the bullet hole will be a lot smaller. You have got to try this. <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of innocent bystanders. Come on. <laughs> I know I am. Kind of lean into it just a little bit. You got to widen your, put widen your stance. Put it in. Widen your stance. Did you put it to fire? Bring it down. There you go. There you go. Look to that rear side. Find the tip of that front side. Put the dead center on your target. Thank you so much. He wasn't a fan of it, but he was a trooper. He did it, and he had never shot a gun before. I've been to a gun range before. My uncle loves guns. He hunts, you know, not professionally, but he hunts all the time. So I've been around guns. My husband is like, uh, no, I'm good. And so we went, I took him to do that. And y'all, I went to a restaurant for the first time in a year and sat down inside. I'm very proud of myself, very proud of myself. But um, yeah, so just to let you guys know, I am here, I'm back. And there's a lot more of great content coming up. As you, I know for a fact that you guys don't read my little description box below because I did a test on last video and I said whoever could come closest to the amount that I spent would be rewarded coffee and no one even that you guys commented which I love and I appreciate because I love talking to you guys but you guys didn't even read the description and didn't guess the amount I will close this vlog off here and I really hope you guys are doing well and yes I am back and my oh yes one more thing upload schedule Sundays and Thursdays I will be doing that for you guys Sundays and Thursdays keep me accountable follow me on Instagram and also make sure that you like and subscribe to so I hope you guys truly enjoyed this video and yes I'm back welcome <laughs>